we are going to start with something amazing inshallah and that something amazing is that now today as we are sitting there is a brother here who would like to formally embrace islam allahu akbar and i want to invite brother levin come on over here alhamdulillah allahu akbar allahu akbar so mashallah i was uh, conversing with uh, brother levin he's from the catholic background mom is from the catholic background you were born and raised in germany yes. yeah you were okay alhamdulillah we all want to know i want to know people who are going to watch this want to know that what was their spark within you what were the teachings of islam after looking at it you finally said you know what this is it islam is the truth quranic guidance is the perfect guidance and now today i want to become a muslim so please let us know enlighten us so first of all my family is catholic but we never really practice and we were never really raised religiously so we just visited like we just went to church like two times a year and i didn't really have i wouldn't say i'm a good mom i'm a very good mom and i'm very grateful for her but i never really had this guidance which islam gave me it taught me a lot of things i didn't know before morals and the way of life a way of life which i really appreciate and um it all started with um seeking for a deeper sense of life that's how that's how like my mission started that's how my adventure started that's how i came to islam and it all started with a dream i had which in which i um which my mother asked me i don't know the context but my mother asked me if i'm going to convert to islam and i said yes i'm going to convert and that's all i remember so that's the day when i started looking into my old books of my dad because he was muslim and he passed away many years ago and he didn't teach us anything about islam like he teach my two older brothers a, a little but i never heard anything about islam so those are those are books for children the little children so i looked into it and i was very fascinated so that's Mashallah. when i started i'll go this way alhamdulillah alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. so let's first do like this why don't you recite shahada in english so all of us and you and others who would be listening they understand okay. and then we can do the arabic part okay. of it right of inshallah okay. go ahead um okay there is no deity worthy of worship except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has no partner i bear witness to that and i bear witness that as that the that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is allah's messenger and allah's slave allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar so alhamdulillah now please recite the same thing in arabic alhamdulillah go ahead اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ما شاء الله الله اكبر الله اكبر this is the best day of your life you had many good days in the past many inshallah will come in the future any day in your history in this life this is the best day ever yes. second important aspect is you know prophet muhammad peace be upon him he mentioned that anyone who comes back to islam because we are all born as muslims anyone who comes back to islam allah is going to forgive all the sins of that person newborn baby right <laughs> that's what we say so alhamdulillah you are starting from scratch i have baggage many born and raised muslims we have baggage but you you have a clean slate right now so it's important that you pray for yourself and pray for me my family and pray for all the those muslims sitting here pray for especially those muslims who are going through oppression india and kashmir and myanmar and palestine different places and all the people of humanity who are going through oppression because they are also our brothers and sisters and there is also a good news from prophet muhammad peace be upon him anyone who used to follow jesus and now also follows me there would be double the reward yeah have you heard about that double the reward if i give 1 dollar in charity i will give get certain reward if you give 8 dollar in charity you'll get double the reward than what i get so we pray that uh, may allah subhanahu wa taala keep our brother 
uh, in Islam, strong in Islam, being an active member of the society. And we pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you to meet any challenges, overcome the challenges, trusting in Allah and to give you and all of us the highest place in paradise. So with that, Brother Levin, on behalf of all of us, best day of your life, welcome to Islam, Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Sabil Ahmed. I am at the MEC Masjid, and next to me is Brother Levin. And you'll be surprised to find out that he's young. Well, compared to me, he's young. Brother Levin, how old are you? I'm 16 years old. MashaAllah, a teenager. An amazing thing happened to Levin. Yesterday, he made the best choice of his life. And I want to ask you, what did you do? I took the Shahada at the Islamic Convention in Chicago. MashaAllah, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. The very first thing that came to my mind when I heard about you, then we sat down and then you took the Shahada. A young man growing up in Europe and in the USA, there are so many distractions. You know, the girls, uh, the drugs, the gambling, the music, the video games, all of them are there. But you, mashallah, you, you remain focused. You studied about Islam and you embraced Islam. So what was the spark? Everyone would like to know, especially the youth and the families, and especially our non-Muslim brothers and sisters, they would like to know that what was the spark that attracted you to Islam and now you embraced Islam? The spark that attracted me to Islam is seeking for a deeper sense of life and not just as the youth does or as most of the youth does, focusing on the worldly life. Like, like of course you can have your money, you can have your cars, you can have your wife, whatever, but it's important to have the thought that if you pass away today, what will you have reached? Like what, when you stand in front of God, in front of Allah, what do you tell Him if He asks you what you have reached? Spiritually, not just worldly. So that gave me a thought too, because if I pass away now, I can say I was Muslim, I, I was practicing, and I was spiritually pure. Inshallah, yes. Inshallah, <laughs> good. You know, there's a really higher understanding that life is not just about, you know, the money, the video games, the car, and all the, the glitter in life. This purpose that Allah has created all of us, the whole world, the jinns and the humans, Allah says in the Quran, is the purpose that we should worship Him and submitting to Him and following His guidance. A 16-year-old understanding that higher purpose in life, that's truly an honor and a blessing, Brother Levin. Yes. How about your mom? I know your mom is alive. Uh, has she converted to Islam yet? She hasn't converted to Islam yet. She always says she would never convert to Islam, but that's up to Allah. Of course, you know, if Allah wants to change her heart and mind, right away, kun for yakun, it will happen. But it's so important, mashallah, as you, Muslim, as a son, doesn't matter if our parents are what faith, maybe atheist and Christian and Catholic and Hindu or Jew, any faith, or Muslim. We are supposed to be the best sons, the best daughters, and that was how Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised to us. So I again pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you to also convey the message of Islam to your mom. She is the best human for you to be compassionate to her and taking care of her and respecting her and honoring her despite her faith. And I hope and pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open her heart and mind so she can see the reality of Islam and also proclaim La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So there are many, many youths and many families who may be watching this video and they may be inspired by your story. So what message that you have for our non-Muslim brothers and sisters who may not have their true understanding of Islam, they may not have read the Quran, they may have many, many misconceptions. What would you say to them? So I'd recommend you, if you have, miscon if you have misconceptions or you just want to look into Islam, I highly recommend you to Surely the internet, you, can, you can't trust many things on the internet, but there are a lot of authentic pages which you can look up, which you can research. If you have questions, if you have misunderstandings, l either look up, look it up on the internet, or don't feel shy to visit the masjid. Just look it up on Google. 
just look uh, what's the nearest magistrate and people won't be mad at you for having misunderstandings. It's, it, it's a pretty normal. And I did research. I asked people, I did research and that clears the misunderstanding. So it's important to communicate and just go to, into a masjid, ask people, um, ask the imam eventually and you will find an answer for sure, inshallah. And, find, and at the end of the day, Islam stands for peace. So I hope and pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you and all of us guided. And I hope and pray that our brothers and sisters, they also look into Islam. And inshallah, they can also proclaim the truth of Islam as proclaimed by all the prophets. With that again, congratulations, Brother Levine. Welcome to Islam. Alhamdulillah.